and welcome to the episode 346 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today we have the end of a tour, a record release, and the end of a collaboration on stage. Let's start the episode with two 1962 Beatles performances at the Cavern Club in Liverpool. Both happened on the 12th of December. One two-hour appearance at lunchtime and another at nighttime, topping a bill also featuring the Foremost and the Mercy Beats. It was the Fab's 45th and final double feature at the Cavern. In 1963, the Beatles stopped at the Odeon Cinema in Nottingham for their autumn tour. Another live engagement in 1965, with the Beatles concluding what turned out to be their last British tour, with two concerts at the Capitol Cinema in Cardiff, joined on the stage by the Paramounts, Beryl Marsden and Steve Aldo, the Moody Blues, the Cubas and the Marionettes. After the end of the second show, the band was driven back to London, where they attended a Christmas party at the Scotch of St. James Club. In 1968, John Lennon was interviewed for Dutch national television's Road with Blau program at his dentist's. Yoko Ono talked at length while John was having his teeth examined and fixed, and then John talked briefly about the couple's next experiment of film, Smile, about the raid the police operated against them, which resulted in Lennon's arrest for drug possession, see episode 291 for that, and the general unrest spread across the world during that year. On the 12th of December 1969, the first Plastic Ono Band LP was released in UK and USA. The album, Live Peace in Toronto 1969, was a live recording of the 13th of September 1969 performance that John Lennon and his new quote-unquote fluctuating band had at the Toronto Rock and Roll Revival Festival. Check out episode 256 for more information on that. The album went gold in the US, but failed to chart in Britain. During the day, John gave another interview, this time to Harry Flower of South African Radio. The interview, as usual for 1969, centered on John and Yoko Peace campaign and on the couple's artistic and political activities, plus on the lift of the South Africa ban on Beatles records and the soon-to-be-released, according to John, Get Back album. Finally, on this date, George Harrison appeared for the third night as part of the support band of the Laney & Bonnie for a concert at the Falconer Theatre in Copenhagen, Denmark. It was the last time he shared the stage with them. Why, before going on with your life, remember to check www.simonmas.com support to see how you can help me producing more and better music-related content for you. On that page, you'll also get the information on how to acquire the deluxe version of this podcast, should you fancy hours of extra material that I haven't included in this free version. See you tomorrow. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.